Hey guys, it's JT, and welcome back to another episode of Delta Rune Chapter One. So we just defeated the king with help from Lancer, um, and I don't know how much of the game is left. So this might be a really short episode. It might be standard length. It might go on to be more. But yeah, let's continue on. You're beginning to sound like a real hero. Eh, don't get used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I, uh... I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh... See ya. Oh, we gotta go say goodbye to... We gotta go say goodbye. Hey, Chris. Wait a second. Um, uh, look. I know you want to give a real goodbye to everyone, right? I mean, I'm all for leaving right away, but you want to say goodbye, don't you? You know, we could go back a sec if you wanted. Sure. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's head back. Yeah. Chris, Susie, you came back? Um, well, Chris just wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye, too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love. And thanks to your donation, I can buy a new hat and some shaving cream. Hey. Best, you're the best. Honestly, we owe you. You're absolutely amazing. B great work. <laughs> I get it. I I understand why they I understand why they're there. That's funny. Even a little ball can say something like "thank you." Thank you. I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I asked Chom to come here, but uh, there wasn't any interest. Oh, rules. Darn, Horsey, you haven't done us a big help. Now all of those pieces can live in pieces. <laughs> you did it, you ousted that rotten tyrant. I'll happily accept a bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears, in which case, I did nothing. <laughs> Rules. Wonderful work, mine, am mine amigos. Thou hast toppled to the tyrants, freedst our creeds. Truly, a history shall not forget the tale of Rules Card and the Three Heroes. That's Rules for you. I knew you could do it. No, I was your enemy. I was cheering for you. That's how much I disliked my job. Mm. Future looks sweet. Like a pile of bees puke. Which is honey, I think. A kingdom with so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. That, that means thank you. Come to our next birthday, too. We'll have one soon. If that's possible. Hathy looked at you proudly. Kiss! <gasps> Yay! A good kissy. <laughs> What's going on? I slid through everything. <laughs> they brought the cages up. Us animals decided it's okay if the kings stay in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. <laughs> what ho! What about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Huh? My treasure is unharmed. Carry on then. <laughs> I'll be honest, at first we weren't sure who to make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. Yay! <laughs> Mamma Biba, what a celebration! This calls for a cake! And this time, I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sizzy, blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. <laughs> I thought you were going home ways. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, really? Uh-oh, uh -oh, that's funny. 
I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Huh? I mean, I did not want to. Um, so, you're the king now, huh? Yeah, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lightners are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. <laughs> oh my god, this game is amazing. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. But it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, guess we'll just see, I guess. Um, well, uh, see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. Hey, um, I assume there's like people all the way down back, but I'm not going. What's all the fuss about? Fewer people are in cages. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going all the way back, because I want to move on. So yeah, let's head out. If you, if, if you know, then you know. Toby Fox, this is a funny joke. I approve. Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Hell if I know. I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. Alright. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Well, we're walking to the right, so yeah. Um, I... I just wanted to say, I... I... I really enjoyed meeting you too, and... Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. <gasps> he go child. He's <gasps> wait. Wait. Is he as real? Cuz he looks like Toriel. Is he as, is, or like a, well, I mean, Asriel, like, is at college technically now. So is this like a younger version of Asriel that's in this world? Holy shit. And Asriel and Rouse, they have the same letters in it. Oh man, that's a theory for another time. Oh, that's just a theory. A game thing, no. Chris, Susie, I... I hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, alright? Uh... Oh no, he's cute. Um, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. Yay. That's great. Ooh. Let's let's go home. Is this uh, is this the fountain? Don't know how, but feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? Yeah. Let's go home. As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. The power of my soul. I always knew I had one. Yeah. Hell yeah. Whoa. What happened? Can't see anything. Hey, watch it. Oh. 
Oh, we're, we're back in the real world. Huh? huh? The unused classroom. How'd we get here? Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? I assume not. Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Alphys we couldn't find any chalk. <laughs> it's Sean. It's a worn down stuffed animal. It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on it. Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. Light witch. Alright. Man, sin's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Yes, Alphas will know better than to ask us next time, huh? Jump back in. <laughs> well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. We friends now in real life? Chris? Hand on my shoulder. Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? Hell yeah, Susie! Yeah! Ah. This is great. Oh, my phone. Oh, Storio. Chris, whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother where it's sick. Chris, I'm afraid you're going. I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer, but when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Yay! Yeah. Has everybody gone home? Yeah. Ah, Toriel's like the like the kindergarten teacher. That's nice. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? The throne of the gods. Ah, oh, that brings back memories. Ha. Oh. Some of them used to yours. Eh. Yeah. The, the trick is to make sure they're not stacked on an angle. Then you can get a lot of them stacked up and then sit on, on the top. So I guess we can explore the town. So I'll be doing that next time on Deltarune. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to, it's entirely up to you. And I shall see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.